does not wonder at the world and at time passing. Hold memory in your hand like a precious stone. Hold on to this changing place we all share. Oh, Lempster of Hinton's, the Iron Cross and the Arrow, Alexander and Duncan and Draper's Lane, much still remains. The Holy Lamb of God at play accepts the things he cannot change. The wisdom is in the playing, and the courage to catch time when you can. The Dales and the Rodneys, the Crofts and the Corleys, the Bengrys and Harleys, families at play. The clock may stop, but the party goes on. Jelly, jam and joy, and those vulnerable balloons never far from popping. The bells of oranges and lemons, dancing shoes and a feast fit for queens. Pigtails lovingly woven. Time to place chrysanthemums in tall vases. At Seguin and Riddle or Scatterbrain Farms, in this expanding green and pleasant land of hope and glory, weaving brick and wood and human hand, it's all change, as ever. Golden builders laying bricks for their children, pouring pride and charm into working days. New ways of doing things. But many of the old ways remain the best, the courtesies of the daily round. Progress is a man with purpose and hope in his soul, with fresh air and wheels beneath him, the sense of a journey. We did it for the town. We love to watch the beauty grow. The Dale Gardens beside the factory, begonias, geraniums, pelagoniums, What would our ancestors make of us now? Such pride when we come together at country shows, under awnings and guy ropes for petals and rosettes. So much experience and subtle wisdom in a keen eye and a delicate nose that knows the subtle scented pollen shades in many summer nooks of woods. The thousand thousand blooms of the nurturing soils of Hereford land the unmistakable perfume of love in the warmth of a home fresh bake. Who thinks we lead time by the nose? We have conquered so much, and yet, in other ways, so little. What will our children say of us? 
the love and the discipline of a well-trained pedigree. So much to celebrate and march towards. The pageant of every child that reinvents the world anew as princess, queen or majorette. A perfect rhythm for the time. Or the pack. The pack. The racing hordes. The swarm. Just follow the horde. The tug of war. Heave! Heave! Put some spark into it, boys! Stronger! Higher! Faster! And something else. So hard to define. Charlie asking us all, so who is blind? And who is the jester of time? My mother was proud to give her shillings and pence for our English tomatoes, dripping with the flavours of the lug and the Kenwater, the trickle of Pinsley Brook, and the dazzle in those great glass houses where we laughed as one. Whistle while you work. Cut those red fruits open in the sun. The seeds glitter like pure gold. The farmer wants a maiden's blush and a wife to listen to. Blossom with children and weddings yet to come. Shining with confetti and laughter. Though the wind blows even as we raise our glasses. The music of tin cans on old bumpers rattles in our memories like spare change. Laughter will always be prized. The splash of electrical joy at plunging into the new and the fresh. The encouragement and the medals and the thump of a bomb. All the ritual tune of extra cover and a fine leg spin and polite clapping from the blazed crowd. Approving spires listen to the lazy talk of leather or linseed willow. Cricketers, all in white, fresh as linen from the cupboard. A British gathering loves the bustle and the bunting of altogether patriotic pride. The streets swell to the music of a united nation. The 
the policeman is on point duty, and every flag knows its place well, and its special cheer for when the wind blows, and the streets of the county burst with busyness and excitement. Those hearts are crying out with rare joy. The pomp and sheen of cavalcades, of polished civic cars, the chains of office, Dennis and Nan, Roland Jones, heraldry dripping like rain from skies of history. its own royal anthems. Yes, yes, yes. tells a thousand stories, narratives of love and fear and time and pride, lest we forget the majesty of trebles soaring in our churches and cathedrals, the majesty of us all. of tides, we understand our time. The sea calls us to shape our values in the shifting sands. Though our punch and duty lives may seem brief and harsh, a donkey once rode into Jerusalem. Our 
past the white cliffs of Albion, we travel on into new freedoms. Wider still and wider, and may our bounds never be set. Higher and wider we see these white cliffs and clouds. The artistry of this island kingdom will make us mightier yet. In places of majesty, the flowers and gifts of Lemster and Hereford, Bromyard and Kington, are well known. Their crafts and trades, their apples and bulls and peri pears, the brightest and bushiest blues and the finest wools. Kissing the revolution of the bold new Dior look, earrings like Mayan priestesses, all ballerina hem and cinched waists, the beauty of the feminine silhouette. Elizabeth R, our British sovereign, our British people, you and I, our Elizabethan age. From Aiton Hall's Victorian arches, we know where we stand. And we drink from the stirrup cup as the hounds yammer and yapple through the Lemster streets and out and alive through galloping fields. As riders gather on the high places, horses breathe smoke, magnetizing eyes and ears from all around. The sudden rusty bracken crash and the runaway fox running away like time itself. That cunning trickster time forever slipping away. Through the stream or beneath the rotting boards, we smoke out the unwanted. The hoarded clutter of worn out things. We all know when it's time to clear out what we do not need. And remember the comradeship we long to share, if courage will allow.
At Cornhill Cop, we reflect on our lines, remember the art of the plough, and all the things we wish would last. The men know more than any of us can say. Horatio Sayre at the Broad, with turnips bigger, longer, heavier. And the drunken jest to time, once more laughing, as he tries to prepare us for a timeless sky. Goddess of the words of power, with her golden ears of harvest corn, and her ways are ways of gentleness, and the simplest rituals of courtesy, and the kindness of neighbours, and the everyday. Fangled gadgets will never catch on. We watch the hedges woven by hand and craft and well spent time and listen to the sun whisper of the ways that came before the roads. Now there's another country where Charlie Acton farmed and the land was covered by the sea. And children in Wellington boots splashing and singing songs of warning, warming the hearts of mothers, listening to the slish of bicycles parting puddles like the Red Sea. Ripples reach out like echoes. The tractor cuts through the wetland like trenches, and other memories fall as softly as mustard gas. streets of Lemster Town under snowing stars and what's in heaven is now ours. Pristine as a smile, something we might be playful with as otters on a wet shoot of smooth rock or thankful for, like the feathering of our Christmases with the power of a well-chosen gift. love for one another as we try to create a better here, here, around our family tables with the deepest humility of a golden child and king, carer and healer, creator and quester for tenderness and freedoms and new knowledge, for fresh colour and true joy. Brand 
new wilderness of now. Simple joys, the exhilaration of a child of passion and red cheeks determined to make things work, to make things even more joyous. As hill after endless hill, we are all thrilling with the bobbity bumping speed of brother clatters and mother sister joys for all our family albums. And now it's our turn to look back, see the light dancing on the moving waters. What do we leave of us beyond memorial stone? We cherish most of all the child who wants a nurse, the kind uncle and the mother who listened so carefully, who told us the stories we still remember so soulfully, so well. Another country from long ago whose paths were paved with peace.